Oh, I'm dying. Maybe the metal will save me. Grab the syringe. Ah! In today's video, we're going to test what happens if you inject liquid metal into a Stretch Armstrong doll. Have you ever played with a Stretch Armstrong doll before? I haven't. I knew people who had them, but I've never played with one until recently when you brought one to the studio. Yeah. So it's a rubber doll, like a stretchy rubber doll, huh? filled, I believe, with corn syrup. Um, and the effect is that you can stretch it out a lot, and the corn syrup being as thick of a liquid as it is, <laughs> it's slow to return to its shape. It will eventually. The rubber wins out over the corn syrup. Ugh slow to pull out of shape too because you have to deform all of that corn syrup and so you can get some pretty strange shapes Ugh, there we go totally normal yeah here's the basic idea we've got a lot of gallium that we're going to try melting down and injecting into a stretch armstrong doll using a large hypodermic needle what's going to happen to the gallium will it take the shape of the doll will it get confined by the gel inside the doll let's find out well, along with this totally normal doll, uh, we've got some totally normal metal here, by which I mean gallium. It's not you, totally normal metal. If you haven't seen us playing with gallium before, it's a non-toxic metal that melts at approximately 85 degrees Fahrenheit. So theoretically, you can hold it in your hand and it will melt. Callie and I both struggle with that because our hands don't get very warm. The concept is cool and it is easy that to melt. That piece is awesome. Yeah, so I had all this gallium melted down and then I just poured it into a cup I let it cool down overnight, and it cooled down to about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below its freezing point, but it didn't solidify. It was still liquid, and I think it had just uh, super cooled, kind of like when you take a bottle of water, put it in the freezer for a couple hours, and then hit it, and it will all crystallize. It was like that. It was below its freezing point, but it hadn't actually frozen, and so I took some little scraps of solidified gallium, and I just dipped them into the cup and it kind of crystallized around those. Very geometric, very non-organic looking shapes. It very reminiscent of when we played with bismuth. So really cool that we got all these fun crystal shapes. Very, very silvery metal. And uh, now we're just gonna melt it all down again. Cause I wanna see what happens if we inject liquid metal into- Into the Stretch Armstrong arm that arm. is quickly turning gray from- Oh, gallium stains your fingers really yep. quickly. Like just playing with the solid metal, mm -hmm. it will get onto your skin sometimes. Um, there, like solid metal, it just gets on your skin. So we're gonna melt down all this gallium so that it's injectable. I just got, this is a food basting syringe. It's designed for injecting flavor into, you know, whatever meat you're cooking. Um, I got a hypodermic needle. So we'll see which one wins out here. <laughs> All right, that's all of our gallium melted down. I should hold its heat for a good while. It doesn't even need that much. Like I can still like put my fingers in this. It's not burning hot. It's hot, it's probably 140 degrees, which is more than it needs to be. But you know, we're using a stove. That should stay liquid for a good while. Okay. All right, Stretch. We're about to turn you into Wolverine. I am a little concerned about the amount of damage that will happen from this large needle, but I'm gonna try it. Do it. All right, here goes. Can you even stab with that needle? I think so, I'm pretty sure I stabbed through. All right, here goes injection. <laughs> oh, his chest is swelling. Okay, that's a decent amount. I'm gonna take this out and see if it just starts like Oozing. shooting liquid metal back out. Nope, sealed up pretty well. He is bleeding a little. And by bleeding, I mean liquid metal coming out. All right, you've got a slightly sharper needle. Yeah, and I've gone over the 20 milligrams pick in here. A, pick a spot. I'm just gonna start injecting into his arms. Whoa, look at that. Synthol Swold. biceps. All right. I'm gonna go in through his knee and then try and back the syringe up as I inject so Smart. that we get like a high travel distance. Oh, look at this one's leg real quick. Oh, he had like a bloop happening. I'm just gonna pump his whole stomach full. Look how big he is. We've made this guy so much larger. I'm gonna open this second one just so we can see how much he's changed by volume. 
Uh huh. He has put on a few pounds. He's much squishier now. Oh! We got a bleeder. <laughs> oh yeah, his ankle. Look at this. Yep. Oh! oh. <laughs> poor guy. Poor, poor guy. All no, right. No, no, we're not done yet. I, I think we should, uh, we should now refrigerate him until he's completely cooled down. Oh, I just got gallium all over my face. I can see it. Our cameraman wanted to know how much a Stretch Armstrong can stretch. This is terrifying, because if this makes a mess, we are, like, if this decides to break on us. This is also a trust game, because I feel like I remember my brother doing this and then letting go with an older sibling. I never played with one of these. But I remember hearing stories about these just smacking the other player. I mean, that's a pretty good stretch right there. That's I don't really want it to tear apart nope. because I want to surgery him open. Poor guy. Making primary incision. Oh, well, now he has a belly button. <laughs> this reminds me of that one scene from Stranger Things. That looks like honey. It does seem thicker than most corn syrup. Huh. It, yeah, it's not very sticky. No. No. You don't know where that's been. You don't know how old that is. It says 2019 on the box printing. So the box is at least new. Okay, well, that's a pretty good view. Of the inside. Of the inside of a Stretch Armstrong that does not have gallium in it. Can we just peel his skin off his entire body? Probably. Well, now we know what a Stretch Armstrong without gallium looks like inside. I want to see something. I want to see if we can oh, recreate. Oh, just inject the gallium in. And see right what now. it was that we did. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it probably puddled on top of the. Mm, in between the rubber and the. Oh. The insides. Oh, that's a good. You got a good cavity there. I just want you to know this is the strangest thing I have ever done. Nice. <laughs> we have now refrigerated slash frozen. Both our dolls, the one that got injected first and the one that got skinned first. Not entirely solid still, but... He's pretty darn pretty close. Solid. All right, let's open him up, see what we've got. Oh no. Just gotta make sure it comes off his head all right. Oh, his butt's squishing down. There's... <laughs> the gallium in it is not frozen all the way. That's Look at neat. Him. That is neat. That's cool. So it was inside, or the corn syrup like puddled behind it a little bit. But this part, his butt isn't done. Oh yeah, that's that's clearly. Hang on. Squishy. Hit. Yes. Oh, his butt is leaking. <laughs> Let's throw him back in the freezer for a bit. Just like that. We've now very thoroughly frozen this Stretch Armstrong. I don't think we You're can really get him the off plate. the plate. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty solid at the moment. But we did get the metal solid, so mm -hmm. you can really see it. You can see where it's actually started to crystallize yeah. inside him. Yeah, like, so the gallium, if it cools off at the right temperature, you often get these geometric shapes, which are like those crystals we were looking at the very beginning. And some of those started to form within the Stretch Armstrong, which is pretty fun. Getting it out is going to be a hoot because we have to let it warm up enough not to melt the corn syrup, but to melt the metal out. Well, our camera guy Mark has the idea of us trying to make cotton candy out of this corn syrup now. We might have to do that. Oh, is this how we're going <laughs> to... It just all ran out. Okay, there's nothing left in there? It, yeah, there's like little bits of residue. Okay. But for the most part, it all poured out of his neck Good. down to right there. Yo, well, there goes his arm. Now we can look at it. Look how nicely that metal is in the middle. Actually, this is kind of funny. If you look on the outside, it looks like the gallium is going all the way to the edges of his uh -huh. arm. And then you look at the middle of it and you see that there's actually quite a bit of corn syrup around it. 
All right, guys, we are going to try and extract our gallium. We'll let you know how it goes. Anything else you want to see us do with nostalgia toys? Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> guys, unfortunately, that's not all. We always have more for you to see. And if you like this kind of strange content, hit that button so you're subscribed. Never miss out on the fun. Talk to you then.